Winning the Sunday Times and Times University of the Year accolade is a bit like winning the Champions League. It is the premier competition. Winning it represents a huge team effort and it is something that should be celebrated inside and outside the university. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has and is contributing to the transformation of our university. As winning the University of the Year award demonstrates, this has been noticed and applauded. We won for three reasons. The first is a sheer quality of what we do and the kind of university we are. The second is that the Sunday Times and Times noted that over the last year, our performance as a university has improved on all of the key measures. This is a remarkable achievement. And third, they applauded the fact that we are an innovative university. They instanced, amongst other things, our unconditional offer strategy. They might also have mentioned our Birmingham Fellows programme, our Transformed Access to Birmingham programme, the Birmingham Professional, or the new University Training School. Or they could have mentioned our winning nearly £100 million for new projects, including the High Temperature Research Centre, or our sector-leading initiatives to enhance student employability, or our numerous other bold and sector-leading initiatives, which are now the hallmark of the way we do things at Birmingham. The truth is, I've always come to Birmingham if I'm asked, because um, you, you made me, so that's great. And it's a pleasure to be back here. I walked briefly, by mistake actually, on the campus, thinking I was going to Biles instead of um, the, um, the medical school. And so I had a quick walk around um, there today. So it's a pleasure to be here, a pleasure to see um, all of you in this lecture theatre. We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to build an inspirational new library and a world-class sports complex that will include the city's first Olympic-length swimming pool. Because of the size of the new facility, and it is so much bigger, we will be able to accommodate far more 
of the staff, students and community needs, so we'll be able to accommodate more people with less crowding. Our students will benefit from the new library because it will be the most fantastic space where they can work in the ways that they would like to work and interact with all the various resources that we provide for them in a way that they simply can't now. Dominic Cadbury, Chancellor of the University of Birmingham, now in my last year as Chancellor. I'm retiring at the end of this year, 2013, having taken up the position as Chancellor in 2003. My message to our alumni from wherever they are in the world is this has been a fantastic year for the University of Birmingham, for your university. You may well have heard that we have recently won the award of University of the Year from the Sunday Times and Times, and this is a, a great achievement and a wonderful encouragement and a great asset for the university looking to the future. Birmingham has become a truly global university, and wherever you are in the world, you should feel as at home as international alumni, as our alumni in the United Kingdom, because the University of Birmingham really is now a university of the world, a global university. My name is Kate, I studied medicine and I've chosen happy because Brum has been the happiest and most fun six years of my life ever and it's set me up really well for the future. My name is Daniel Street and I studied theoretical physics and applied maths and I chose perfect because everything about my degree was perfect, the lectures, the friends, everything and I feel like I'm leaving it with a degree that could set me up with a good job for life and uh, I've made friends that I'll never forget. So. I don't think there's any other word other than perfect that could describe that. My name's Emma and I study computer science and uh, my word is friendships and um, that's extremely cliche but you know what, I've made loads of fantastic friends at uni. And the word I chose is, in my language it's pronounced heady, which basically means challenging because going through uni was not exactly a breeze, <laughs> it was uh, ups and downs and so get, getting through it was, was really, really a good accomplishment. I'm James Dawson, I studied Biological Sciences and I chose Amazing because I had both an amazing time on the course and I met some amazing people who are just going to be my friends for life. A great time, we've met new friends and really enjoyed ourselves. I've most enjoyed the people, I think, um, getting to know new friends yeah. and having a life away from home really, it's been great. <laughs> I've just got done studying a PhD in low temperature physics and the word I have take, uh, chosen is romantic. Uh, the reason I chose this word was because I met my now fiancé when I was 19 here on the first day of my second year um, and he proposed to me the day after I completed my PhD. Um, uh, we are graduating together today with the same degree um, and so yes it's been a very fun eight years. <laughs> my time at university has been absolutely amazing, I wouldn't change it for the world. Very awesome. A good end to a good four years. I chose the word stress because um, it was very stressful at times, but it was all worth it in the end. I'm Philip, I've studied computer science and this word is NetBeans. It's the programme I used to do almost all my work in, so it's been three years of my life and most of my degree. I'm Charlie, I also studied computer science. I chose WO because the University of Birmingham blew me away. And I chose this word uh, which is Teruja uh, and it means uh, exciting. Although a lot of words come to mind for university, I think. Um, my time at med school was cracking. I use it a lot in my day-to-day -day life, so pretty much sums it up nicely. My time here is an experience I'll never forget. Um, I made loads of new friends, and developed loads of new skills, and I'll take this experience away with me forever.
these words basically just describe some good memories that we had during the four years. Not really. <laughs>